hey guys welcome back to my channel so before we begin i want to give a quick shout out to my girl hey love thank you so much for supporting me and let's hop right into this video so today we're going to be using my almond short soft gel full nail covers i do sell these in my etsy shop and as always everything is linked down below so all I'm doing here is I'm going in with my soft gel full nail covers and sizing them to my nails. You want to make sure that the size you pick fits your nails wall to wall. So really quickly, a lot of people ask me several questions about these. These are soft gel full nail covers um, and they are not ABS plastic, meaning that it's not necessary and you don't have to etch the inside of these if using them with poly gel. It also means that these are a soak off slash e-file system if using them with poly gel. So they're universal. I love these soft gel full nail covers and they're much more durable than using ABS plastic. So for our poly gel today, I'm going to be using Puppy Love, um, which is a shade by McCart. If you guys are interested, I am a McCart ambassador and I do have a discount code link down below. I think it's for 15% off of your purchase. I do recommend McCart for beginners, but I'm using some alcohol as my slip solution for this video. And all I'm doing is, it's super simple. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer, but all I do is go in with a drop amount of the poly gel, and then I fully cover the full nail cover. When doing this method, you wanna make sure that your cuticle area is flushed and that it's thinner than the rest of the nails. And you wanna do that so the poly gel doesn't ooze out of the cuticle area. If it does, because it happens, happens to me all the time, you just wanna make sure that you're taking your brush and cleaning around your cuticles and your sides, making sure all the poly gel is cleaned off before you go in and cure your hands in that UV slash LED lamp. And speaking of curing your hands, as you guys can see, I do use white fingerless gloves when doing my nails now. I usually do some sunscreen and I also put on these UV LED gloves for extra protection. I do also sell these gloves in my Etsy shop and they are, they are very important. I highly recommend them because it protects your hands against premature aging, like wrinkling and from your hands darkening. Those UV LED rays are very harsh on your skin and I did notice a difference within a few months of me doing my nails. Granted, I do do my nails often, so if you do them often like me, then I definitely recommend investing in a pair because um, they're definitely going to help protect your hands from, like I said, wrinkling and premature aging. Your hands are the first thing that tell a woman's age. You feel me? Like, I ain't trying to be 20 years old and uh-uh. But... <laughs> Like I said, I do sell these in my Etsy shop, so if you guys are interested, the link is down below. But I'm just going ahead and doing the same method. Another tip to eliminate the time that your hands are in that UV slash LED lamp is to do multiple nails at one time and then go ahead and stick your hand in that lamp. So I think I did like two fingers and then I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm tripping. But like you could just go ahead and do like four of them and then stick your hand in and that's just going to help eliminate the time that your hand is in that lamp but this part is super easy i'm just going to sit back let you guys watch me work and then i'll be right back
So I'm gonna go in with some alcohol and a lint-free wipe and wipe down the tops and the bottoms of my nails because poly gel can definitely leave behind a sticky residue and you wanna make sure that you do this before filing. I'm gonna go in with an 80-80 grit nail file today and I'm just gonna slightly shape up my nails. Using soft gel full nail covers are perfect if you have problems shaping like me because it makes life so much easier. As you can see, filing just takes me two seconds. I'm really just making it perfect, but the full nut cover is already the perfect shape. So it takes all of the work out of filing and shaping, which I'm horrible at. So now I'm going in and I'm just dusting off my nails. By the way, if you're interested in my nail files, I got the 8080 grit nail files off of Amazon. And I believe they're in my Amazon storefront. If you guys are interested, I have a storefront where I keep all the Amazon products that I buy on there. That's linked down below. And this is another thing that's in my Amazon storefront, which is the Beatles gel polish. I constantly get like sets of 20 of them and I do love Beatles and McCart gel polish the most because they're super opaque and they're super thick colors. So for my nail art brush, I tried this different, it doesn't it look cute, like it looks like antique. I got it off of Sheet In. Um, it doesn't really work too well for lines. I gave it a try, wasn't a big fan. So I'm just gonna go in with a Beatles nail art brush and do my nail designs. Actually, not Beatles. I got this nail art brush from Shein in a pack of three. That's probably one of my favorite things that I've gotten from Shein are these thin nail art brushes. It's definitely a good deal. If you guys are interested in seeing a Shein nail haul, I do have a few on my channel. If you're thinking about purchasing nail supply products from Shein because they're actually really great. So you can check those out. I'll try and leave a link to it. But um yeah all i'm doing now is i'm going in and i'm just doing my design i included everything from like the mess ups to where i like redid them because it's the process y'all it's, it's a marathon it's not a sprint nail stuff doesn't always come out perfect for me um so just take your time and just have fun so it's really easy i'm just wa letting you guys watch me draw some lines <laughs> but yeah so i'll let you watch me work and i will be back So I'm going to be using this No Wipe Subtle Glitter Top Coat by this. It's a small brand that I purchased for. Her brand name is called NKK. I think it's like Nails Cat Cat. It's some girl that went, uh, I think she went like viral on TikTok. But I purchased this from her line and I actually really do enjoy this No Wipe Top Coat. Um, I'll leave a link to it down below, but it's beautiful. It's a really subtle glitter color. So it's a clear top coat, but it has little subtle pieces of glitter in it. I don't know if you can get a really good look at it, but that's how subtle it is. And I, I do enjoy it. So I'm going in now, lastly, with my cuticle oil. I also sell these in my Etsy shop. And this is my favorite part. I say it in every video. It doesn't matter how cute your nail design is. If your cuticles are crusty, 
them nails is not going to be cute. So it's very important to get your cuticle oil. I love this. I throw this in my purse. Like, it's the perfect size. It's so cute. It's just fun. <laughs> but here are the final results. It's a really cute, minimalistic nail design. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And if you did, please don't forget to leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. Today is Friday, so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will catch you guys next week. Bye!